colorless diamonds. This is the most common absorption spectrum of a colorless diamond. 98% of the diamonds do contain nitrogen in aggregate form as defects in the crystal lattice. The most known is the N3 aggregate which is responsible for the blue fluorescence and can be identified as an absorption peak at 415 nanometers. Other features related to this defect are the N3A center at 461 nanometers and the N2 center at 477 nanometers. Whenever the absorption spectrum of a colorless near to colorless diamond shows those peaks, we can conclude the diamond is natural. By opening the colorless to near colorless folder of the database, we can activate the natural colorless diamond identification application. The software will show a spectrum of a natural 1AAB diamond with all the diagnostic peaks highlighted and described. This is the spectrum of a natural 2A diamond. Of course, like in nitrogen, the related peaks are missing and as you can see there are no significant other features. Since both HPHT and CVD colorless synthetics are type 2A, a diamond featuring such spectrum could be either natural or synthetic. Many samples of CVD feature a lattice defect due to silicon contamination causing an absorption peak at 737 nanometers. Although this defect can be rarely seen in a UVV's near absorption spectrum, when it's present is a very good indicator the diamond is a synthetic CVD. This sample shows an extraordinary level of silicon contamination. Unfortunately, colorless HPHT synthetics show no significant features in the UV visnir range and their spectra are quite similar to the natural 2A. The Gemosphere software allows to visualize up to 50 spectra at the same time. Here you can see the spectra of a natural diamond and some of its simulants like synthetic moissanite, cubic zirconia, zircon and YAG. Fancy color diamonds yellow diamonds. Fancy color diamonds are much appreciated by the market. Yellow is the most common color available. Fancy yellows can be of two types. The most prevalent belongs to the Cape series with a huge concentration of nitrogen aggregates which give the high saturation needed to show a nice yellow body color. The UVV near spectrum is similar to the colorless one. A pronounced N2 peak, which gives the yellow, is an indicator of the high color saturation. Then there are the extremely rare type 1B, which usually display a strong and saturated yellow canary color, caused by single nitrogen. Their spectra features a slope known as the single nitrogen continuum. This is the spectrum of an irradiated yellow diamond. Despite it can be very rarely present even in untreated diamonds, this peak at 595 nanometers is a good indicator of irradiation treatment. HPHT and CVD synthetic yellow diamonds feature the same single nitrogen continuum as the natural yellow 1B. Pink diamonds in natural pink diamonds, the color is caused by the so-called pink band, centered at 550 nanometers. Most of the pinks are type 1A, A, B. Here you can see the absorption spectrum. Along with the pink band, you can see the entry at 450 nanometers, and this emission band indicates a strong blue fluorescence reaction to the light source. In the pink diamond section of the database, there is an application displaying critical information on how to identify the spectrum of a natural pink diamond. This stone is a natural multi-treated pink diamond. This band mimics the pink band, but the real cause of the color is another one. Let's activate the application for pink diamonds. Along with the spectrum of natural pink, here you can see the two references of the peaks of 575 and 637 nanometers caused by nitrogen vacancy defects, which are responsible for the body color of this stone. 
In HPHT synthetic pink diamonds, the cause of the color are the two nitrogen vacancy defects. Vacancies are generated by radiation treatment and the annealing process allows them to bond to the few single nitrogen atoms present. Here the GR1 indicating the artificial irradiation treatment. In CVD pinks we can see the same defects causing the color. The presence of the silicon vacancy defect at 737 nanometers is an indicator of the CVD grown process. Blue diamonds. Natural blue diamonds are type 2b and embed substitutional boron in the crystal lattice. Their UV Visnia spectra display a slow called the boron continuum. Blue color can be easily obtained by irradiating specific natural type 1 AAB with high energy particles. The UV Visnia spectrum displays the absorption GR1 structure with a clear peak at 741 nanometers generated by re radiation treatment. Sometimes even peak caused by entry aggregate can be spotted. Since natural type 2B do not contain nitrogen, this spectrum is diagnostic of the artificial origin of the blue color. HPHT synthetic blue are usually type 2B and their UV vis near spectrum, displaying the boron continuum only, is unfortunately not diagnostic of their synthetic origin. CVD synthetic blue are typically type 2A treated by radiation. A good indicator of the CVD method is the presence of the silicon vacancy defect at 737 nanometers along with the GR1 at 741 nanometers. Due to their vicinity though, those peaks can be individually detected almost only in liquid nitrogen immersion. Although the gemosphere is a powerful UV vis near spectrometer and, as we have seen, provides for many diagnostic information for the correct identification of fancy color diamonds, this field is so complex that, besides a deep knowledge of the matter, a complete array of more advanced instrumentation is needed to fully address all the challenges involved, especially in multi-step treatments that are becoming more and more available on the market. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about our spectrometers, please visit our website. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at